So our first guest today is content creator and founder of the travel and lifestyle blog Inspired Living SA. Being a mom herself, Fiona Rossiter knows all too well how tough it can be to juggle work and family, but she's managed to strike the perfect balance and she's here to share some of her insight. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. So firstly, I mean, I love your blog and I love your Instagram. Where did the idea come from? Um, I think I started blogging basically as a personal thing for myself. Yeah. Being a stay-at-home mom, it was some way that I could connect with other people other moms, other just like-minded sort of individuals. Um, and that's how it started initially incredible. in 2010. Well, I find it incredibly <laughs> inspiring and I'm not even a mom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just think it's really great fun. So what I love most about what you said about the uh, coming to do this interview today yes. is that whenever there's a Mother's Day and a reason to celebrate mothers, then that women should take it as a personal day of in personal intervention for themselves. Why do you think some mothers need that? Well, I think, you know, you put all your effort and energy into your family. Yeah. Um, even if you're a working mom or stay-at-home mom, it doesn't really matter. They come first. Well, yeah. generally, I think that's how moms are. Um, totally. And I think it's time for you to actually reflect and see what you're missing in your life, you know, how yeah. you can put back for yourself. And... Um, yeah. Not well, let's take this moment to give all mothers out there, especially, you know, I mean, and all mothers certainly are incredibly selfless. So let's take this moment to do an intervention with all of the moms at home. So what are some of the things that moms can do to practice self-care and to put themselves first, especially this Mother's okay, Day? Well, for me, I think physical is definitely something which yeah. is very important. You know, remaining active, whether it be a five-minute walk, um, a 20 minute run or yoga or something like that it's just important to be physical and active um, it's good for your mental and physical well-being as well which yeah. I think is really really great now what about like social groups because I know that a, a lot of mums enjoy those kind of yes. things I've got all of my friends have got children and they insist on doing a book club that I've tried to go to a couple <laughs> of times I've still yeah I'm yet to see a book <laughs> no worries <laughs> thanks so. <laughs> you have these book clubs but it is I mean you don't have to read the books. I think yeah. it's more about the social interaction. It's actually sort of meeting other people, um, not losing your sanity. And I think that's why clubs or groups can be helpful as a, you know, for a working mom or a stay-at-home mom as well. So, yeah. yes, so what are you doing this Mother's Day and what are your expectations of a Mother's Day? Oh, well, <laughs> I think first and foremost is time for me to actually just do nothing. Um, yeah. And hopefully my family have got something planned, I think. <laughs> um, so champagne brunch or something like that would, would be fun. Um, yeah. Or a pamper session. Like Wonderful. That. Fantastic. Those are very, very good ideas, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the focuses for somebody who hasn't seen your blog or your Instagram okay. before? What are the key focuses on it? Well, I mean, I myself um, love travel. So I think that is a large part of what I do and a lot, large part of what I actually focus on. Um, food and wine and obviously Cape Town. Um, I also do quite a bit of sort of health stuff as well. So health and fitness. Yeah. So ways to incorporate things into your diet or... Um, exercise. Um, so that's yeah, a lot of the things that I do touch on more of a lifestyle base. Wonderful. Yes. Well, we'll have all of the details where you can read more on Inspired Living on our website. Thank you so much for being here sure. today and I hope you, you have so a wonderful much. Mother's Day on Sunday. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>